welcome to this beautiful Saturday morning. We are doing a live and this live is just to let you guys know what we are doing, what anything that you guys want to talk about. It's not more focused on the recipe, but I do have the recipe as well. Um, I'll share my updates, my um, what we do in this house that might help with this cold weather um, to boost your immune system, whatnot. So those are the things that we'll be talking about. And in case if there's anything else you guys want to know, feel free to ask us. If it is something appropriate and it is the way I can answer it, I will definitely answer them. So I am here to... Oh. I'm just going to wait a couple minutes before I, we start moving along. All right, so first thing um, to do, one of the things that we do uh, is that we make a lot of soups um, this time of the year. So uh, tomato basil soup is one of them. Tomato roasted um, or roasted tomato bell pepper is another one. Um, egg drop soup is another one. There's so many soup varieties that we actually work with. So I'm just going to show you a simple one tonight. And then I want to show you how to make that. I'll share my written recipe with you as well. Um, if there's any questions, concerns, uh, any updates that you guys want to know, please feel free to ask us. We will definitely answer them. So here I have a, a portable um, stove here. So let's see. For some reason it is not clicking in. Okay. It's not working. I don't know why it's not working, but we will we'll figure figure this out. Um, anyway, so what do you need for this is actually a basic stuff such as beans and carrots. Because I do, when you have your sinuses all up and um, alerted, um, we wouldn't have much of a taste palette to f experience all the beautiful flavors. So something light and um, tasty, such as green, uh, garden vegetables, are such great ways to boost your um, immune system. So what we are going to do is I have some beans and carrots. And I have two eggs. We got some hot sauce, uh, ketchup, soy sauce, black pepper, salt, and then cornstarch. That's all we need. So we are, I'm sure you guys will have all this on hand as well. All right. Our tech crew just fixed it. We are good to go. So um, let me know. You guys can actually chat with me because that, that's what I like about those live cooking shows. Um, now that I got so used to have been cooking on live on many platforms, I am so happy to share the same experience with you guys too. So you guys can ask something or say something nice um, in the comments because this is going to be recorded and it's going to be uploaded later on. So I am just going to heat up my pan and move along with our recipe. And I usually make this like a big pot of this, like... Um, once or twice a week because kids love it. When you go to a um, Chinese restaurant or uh, any anywhere like that, one of the common soups that is majority of the time we order is actually egg drop soup, chicken soup, any of that kind of stuff. But I want to season that same thing at home, recreate the same thing with the, all the ingredients that you have on hand. So that's what I'm going to show you. I have some ginger garlic paste, which um, we buy the tube or you can make your own. Right, you could use any vegetable of that uh, of your choice vegetable oil, coconut oil, canola oil, olive oil, they're all good. Into this, we're going to squeeze out a bit of a tablespoon or so of our ginger garlic paste. Now, ginger and garlic is so good, um, they just help you fight those bad stuff in your body, right? Just a little bit goes a long way. So, ginger, garlic, I like to use the paste for this one because. We're going to make a soup. We don't want any bite-sized pieces in here. That's why. Okay. Um, are you guys all from Portland or are you from uh, US? Where are you guys watching from? 
If there's any newcomers here, hello, welcome. Okay, let's add our beans and carrot to this. What I love about this recipe is that it's so easy, it's so fast. Let's saute this just for a couple of seconds and it should come up. Okay. Into this we're going to squeeze in a, a bit of hot sauce. Now hot sauce is totally up to you how much you like your um, soup to be nice and spicy. This, is, this can be used as hot and sour soup. Okay. And a bit of our soy sauce. So add your salt towards the end because you're adding soy sauce. Another thing that we do here is that um, we boil some water with um, um, Mexican mint or even our basil and that actually immunes our, uh, boost our immune system here. So in case if you have never tried that, try that. You will love it. Because we make a lot of soup during this time, my homemade stock is over. So that at that time, I rely on these little cans. Um, we just pop those open and actually make our soup with this. And when I go for these uh, cans, I make sure that it is on less sodium. So that way I don't have to worry about seasoning it too much. All right. And I'm sharing this recipe in case if even if you are sick, you don't want to put extra effort in. These are the stuff that you can actually make like within 10 minutes and you should be at the door. So about four cups worth of stock or uh, chicken broth is what I'm using. You could use vegetable broth. Let's season this. Mix it up. I like a little bit of black pepper in mine, so I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper. And let this come to a boil. Once that is coming to a boil, we'll have our... Um, cornstarch and stuff because we need to um, thicken this gravy right so we're gonna do that and ooh, we need about a tablespoon of cornstarch okay got that dusting off my cornstarch all over me and we're gonna get some water so uh, let me add that. Make sure there's no lumps in there because we're going to be pouring this into our um, soup here. Once it boils up, we're going to add this and that's going to thicken up. Before we pour this cornstarch slurry in there, we're going to crack open a couple eggs and that's where that egg drop soup is going to come and we're going to beat it up very well so that it's nice and smooth. So the slurry is ready. We're going to work with our eggs. Uh, okay. It's kind of rainy season in India right now. So I'm sure you guys also will be able to enjoy the soup. Okay. Usually my lo girls love to make this on their own. All right, you can serve this with the garlic bread or even any baguettes, those are great. Um, let's just mix things up and start rolling. I haven't added the black pepper yet because to season it, taste it first 
and um, because we added sriracha hot sauce um, you could add samba paste to this that's another thing that we usually do and that is if you like it nice and hot and sour okay hot and spicy soup So anybody wants to see the end product, how this is going to look like, this, um, or the recipe, maybe we'll show the recipe, right? Okay, this is how we're going to be serving. So I have garlic bread all nice and toasted. I'll be serving a small um, bowl of these, or how much ever they want, along with, top it off with some um, scallions or green onion, and then you're good to go. It's, it's very easy. And then at the same time, we can also show you our written recipe. This is a closer view of how we actually, uh, what the end product is going to be. So make a whole batch of this. Um, keep it in your Instapot and then keep it on the warm mode. And that way it just keeps the soup warm and, and everybody can enjoy this. We usually have, like I said, once or twice a week. This is something that we actually do. Um, I substitute the soups with something else, um, like I said, tomato, tomato basil soup or even roasted bell pepper and tomato soup, which is also easy. You just had to put, lay everything down on a cookie sheet or baking sheet and pop it into your oven, roast them, and then add everything along with some heavy cream uh, in your blender or uh, food processor or uh, in Ninja, whatever it is, and then... Um, blast away and then you can top it off with a little bit of uh, cheese if you like you can serve that with uh, grilled cheese um, I can't have it but the rest of the family may be able to so I, we might serve it like that so yeah, as you can see this is actually coming to a boil and I got my slurry ready and my um, egg ready so the next thing what we need is actually get a bunch of scallions ready to top this off and that's what I'm gonna do we can top it off at, at the towards the end. Is there anybody that is, hey, you guys watching us from, nice to see you guys. Okay, let's actually go in with our eggs first. And our slurry, make sure to mix it up very well. About a tablespoon of um, cornstarch with five tablespoons worth of um, water. That that way you will get the best slurry. Okay. Okay. Kind of running out of stuff here. Make sure that to dilute it there, meaning there shouldn't be any lumps in here. Matthews. <laughs> We're making egg drop soup. Um, just a chit chat. Hi, Matthew. Okay, I'm just gonna pour in my slurry, which is our cornstarch. Let that come to a boil. All right, after that thickens up, we're gonna add our um, egg in here. Okay. So the written recipe is going to pop up on your screen here, just so that we are moving along. All right. So as you can see, the vegetable proportions are like half cup each. Um, just to, you need more liquid in your body when you're sick. So. Um, that's why I add more of the chicken broth or vegetable broth. Uh, bone broth is even better. Um, those are kind of expensive if you were to buy them, but you can actually make these at home as well. I do have those recipes in our uh, channel. I did with, with uh, Lini for, I believe it was for our 2019 or 2020 um, so, uh, season where we were just making variety of soups. So check those out it is boiling rolling boiling right so this is ready let's do a taste test we need to add my egg in here 
So when you have your eggs, this is two eggs well beaten. And just go in slowly and change. And mix. It might look kind of awkward right now, right? But it's going to change. Just watch. Just you watch. Okay. Let this bubble up. It's going to thicken up even further. And then we're going to serve this with, top it off with some scallions. Add fresh scallions. And here is when I'm going to add our black pepper. Okay, a little bit of black pepper. That is totally optional, you don't have to do this. Very good. Here we go. So that, my friend, is how you make egg drop soup. It was so simple, right? Very easy to do. Try this, especially during these um, winter season. They are really, really easy and just few ingredients like what you need at home and just going to grab a few of our uh, scallions I'm going to wash them and I'm going to come back prep them okay If they are from your garden, you know how to be very so uh, careful. I mean, it's still you do, but um, the roots are where the soil is, so make sure to wash it thoroughly. And I don't know, maybe it's because it's too early in the morning. It's a Saturday night. It could be that, or um, I haven't advertised this. This was just a pop-up. Um, I thought of just coming along and just talking to you guys. Maybe next time. Spread the word, share the love, and maybe we can increase. And I, I did expect that because I haven't been uploading uh, videos to this channel. Um, it's been every week or two weeks because I've been focusing more on... Um, it's flu season, so one of us were sick, and I just did not feel like going live or videos, recording for that matter, especially this week when everybody was home. Um, I'm just going to turn off the flame here and we are done. The comment was, um, there's low viewership here, so that's why. What happened? Well, I was just giving an example of what happened. It was written in our native language, Malayalam. So in case if there's any non malalis out there and you're like, what, what is she talking about? That's why. Okay. How about, can you all see this, the, the soup? Can you see the soup? Okay, it's done bubbling away. We are done. We can just grab a small bowl and get our seasoning all set. Top it off for now. There we go. That was an easy piece of recipe, guys. Make these at home. Let me know how it came out for you guys. Um, if you'd like to see this recipe again, I can share. Or if not, it's simple to remember, right? Um, half cup each of carrots, or you could even substitute it with any vegetables that you like, like mushrooms or uh, baby corn, any of those kind of stuff. That is fine. Um, we just add um, beans and carrot for safe. Everybody likes that. 
Next thing we, we do uh, is uh, just saute that in some oil. Oil is your choice. Vegetable oil, canola oil, olive oil, those are healthy ones. Avocado oil, these are really nice. And then, um, and then we're, uh, we can actually have more of like um, stock. You could add two eggs and just make sure to thicken it up, meaning let it boil. When it comes to that rolling boil is when you add your slurry, the cornstarch slurry and let that also boil up and then add your eggs and that way you'll get the nice consistency of our soup and it is an um, hot and sour soup so you can actually substitute how much you want this is like a basic way i'm saying two tablespoons of hot sauce two tablespoons of um, ketchup and all that kind of stuff so you could actually do more or less you could also add sambal paste i did not add sambal right now but sambal is a chili paste which is also a very great way to add that uh, flavor in there. So definitely try this out. Um, let me know in the comments how it turned out for you guys. Reach us through Instagram, Facebook, any social media. We should be able to respond to those uh, comments. And thank you, Stephen, for <laughs> encouraging. I'm not sad. Um, it is what it is. Um, so it's an early morning. It's 9 o'clock here, so I don't know what time it is from where you are watching. But um, on a 9 o'clock on Saturday morning, most probably everybody is still in bed or starting their breakfast. So I just, I just wanted to touch base with whoever was online. Um, other than that, we're going to be staying home, eating healthy. Um, and uh, I might share a, a pop-up uh, with a, a recipe here uh, pretty soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.